Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike Gross at rockandguitarlessons.com. You're on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash rockandguitarlessons1. If you haven't checked out my website, it's coming in June of 2012. Please check it out. There's some cool stuff going on there. Today, you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, songs for part of my lessons, and that's cool, and we're still going to do more of that. But I want to give you a little bit of more understanding on the guitar. So, um, today, what I want to show you is the 12 notes on the guitar and how they work in a common sense basic way. So we're going to use one string today, the low E string here up top. It's the, it's the low E string, but it's also going to be our start note, which is E. We're going to move what's called chromatically, which is one fret at a time or a half step at a time. A half step is one fret. So, and by doing that, you're going to, you're going to learn all 12 notes on one string. So it goes like this. We have E, and we're not going to put a sharp on E. We're going to go to fret one. That's a F. And I want you to think this is basically the musical alphabet, how it works. So after E comes F. Musical alphabet goes A through G sharp. Okay, sharp is like the tic tac toe symbol. That's what symbolizes sharp. Okay. You also have a thing called flats. We're not going to get into that right now. I just want you to understand this concept. E. F always comes after E. And you can use your first finger for all this, it doesn't matter. Um, after F, we have what's called F sharp on fret number two. After F sharp, we go to G. After G, we go to G sharp. That's as far as you can go in the musical alphabet. Think of it like the Z in our ABCs. Um, you go back to the very beginning. Not the beginning of the string, but the beginning of the musical alphabet. We've hit the end. That's G sharp. So that's going to put us on fret 5 after that, and that is called A. And I'll get into some concepts later showing you how, why the standard tuning technique works the way it does with the 5th fret open, 5th fret open. It's called tuning in fifths. So anyways, we're on A. After A, we're going to go to fret 6. That's A sharp. So if you notice in a pattern here, um, after every one, we have a sharp, except for E and B. Those are going to be followed with the next letter in the musical alphabet. F comes after E. C comes after B. All the rest are going to have what's called sharps after them. So we did A on 5, A sharp on 6, B on 7. What do you think that one is? If fret 7 is a B, fret 8 is going to be a C. We're not going to call it a B sharp. It's a C. Let me get up a little closer here for you guys. Okay, so um, we have C there. Fret 9 is C sharp. Fret 10 is D. Fret 11 is D sharp. And fret 12 is E. In my previous lesson, I talked to you guys about octaves. We went through the whole cycle of notes starting with what? An E. Nothing repeated on this one string until we hit fret 12. If you look on your guitar, most of them have those two dots there on the 12th fret. Those are sight markers. And they're there to help you kind of know, know your spot. So fret 12, I want you to think of it like this, is the same as the open. It's just an octave higher. They're the same note though. So I'm going to quickly go through this again for you. Okay, and I'm going to get up close for you guys on this one. E open. F fret 1, F sharp is fret 2, G is fret 3, G sharp is fret 4. We've hit the end, remember, of the musical alphabet. We have to go back to the beginning of the musical alphabet. That's going to be an A, which is right here on the fifth fret. A sharp is 6, B is 7. What comes after B? Not B sharp, but C. So C on 8, C sharp 9, D 10, D sharp 11, and E again on 12. That's the octave from the first E that we did. Open E, 12th fret E. And check it out. We're not going to go into this really anymore today, at least in this lesson, but if the 12th fret is equivalent to the open, which is the E, then fret 13 should be equivalent to fret 1, okay? That's a F 
we go up here to fret 13, we have an F again. So that cycle just repeats, guys, is what I'm getting at. So now you have an understanding of the note. It doesn't matter. You can get a Mel Bay book or a Hal Leonard or whatever. They're going to help you, but they move real slow. And if you just understand this principle that I just taught you, you can apply it to whatever string you're on. You know, the next string is an A string. Okay, not an E. So fret 1 on the E was an F. It doesn't mean that fret 1 on the A string is an F. That would be an A sharp. A sharp follows A. So just grasp this concept and play it linear on one string and follow through it. E and B, no sharp. Just think that way for now. Okay? Everything else you call out has a sharp on it. And this will help you, man. When you, wanna, when you get into soloing and different things and you want to find your root note, or not just the root note, but other notes in the scale, if you have that point of reference of knowing, you know, if there's a rhythm in G sharp or whatever. And you want a solo. Or whatever, I'm just doing whatever to show you an idea. But you can always use that root note as your point of reference. So you just learned all 12 notes on the guitar. We went from E, ended on E. So study it a little bit, but it's really not that hard, guys. Books sometimes confuse things, and I don't want you guys to get confused. Okay? So you just learned the 12 notes. Go check out my website coming in June of 2012. You are on my YouTube channel, Rock and Guitar Lessons 1. YouTube.com slash Rock and Guitar Lessons 1. See you soon, guys.